Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So we have this Scion XB, it's a 2009 and this, these are the fuel trims. Okay, so we're gonna go over pretty much a clear indication of when you're having problems. So you see right here, this is these are good numbers right now. Uh, the reason they're good right now is because we just got through replacing the oxygen sensors. This vehicle has two. So this right here, this number right now that is a uh, 5.5, that one used to be stuck between 12.5 and it'd be going up to about 14.5, 14.7. So right now it's no longer stuck. It's on 5.5, right? But um, you know, as soon as you give it some gas or whatever, it drops a little bit. But this is a good range. So just to give you an, an idea, if you see a value of anything over 10 or under negative 10, then there's a problem. So in our case, since I was seeing 12.5, I was under the impression that the vehicle may have like a, an intake manifold leak. One thing that could be happening is from, from this point, which is, this is your air box, this is your mass airflow sensor, anything after this point and on all the way down to your intake this is all your intake everything from this point on has been already measured by the mass airflow sensor if you have like an, uh, a tear right here it's air that is going in that this did not measure so the car will then have issues compensating and trying to make up for the extra air that's coming in and at which point you will have more than 10 because you have extra air and it's trying to compensate and it's wanting to dump more gas and dump more gas okay so after checking the intake duct work after checking like all the hoses and everything that are here connected uh we went ahead and did a smoke test so all we did was we disconnected this hose right here and then we started blowing smoke inside no smoke was coming out of anywhere so that pretty much tells us hey you, I, we do not have an intake leak which the intake is way back there we don't have an intake leak we don't have any air hoses that are leaking any any hoses that are connected to the intake like this one it connects over to like the bottom side of this so nothing was leaking and another indication that you're having issues is if you got black streaks these came out when we were going and loading up onto our ramps over there after giving it some gas, it would blow a bunch of black tar, you know, a bunch of black soot coming out the back. So that tells us pretty much that the car was running rich. So if your intake is all good and, and all the duct work is all sealed off and good, then chances are it's fuel related. So it could either be a weak fuel pump, it could be a clogged up fuel filter, it could be a bad oxygen sensor or sensors or clog injectors. So in our case, since I saw a value over 10, which 8.6 is good, it's still good. It, as long as it doesn't go over 10, we're, we're in a good positive range. Since this vehicle has more than 150,000 miles, you do want to replace your oxygen sensors at this point. Reason being because they start to get lazy. They've already gone through a bunch of heat cycles and everything. So they need to be replaced just like spark plugs at some point. After about 100,000 miles on newer vehicles, you got to replace them because they, they've pretty much already come close to their lifespan. And with oxygen sensors, pretty much the same rule applies. So we went ahead and replace the oxygen sensors both upstream and downstream upstream being the one before your catalytic converter and downstream being the one after your catalytic converter and this is our values now so clearly the oxygen sensors were the problem Well, I hope this information was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It gives YouTube feedback and lets them know that this is good content. Thank you all for watching. Until next time.